I'm just briefly go over the next part. Really, it's just linking to the same concept here. It's just that adding in a few more ideas. What if we change fixed cost? What if we change variable cost? How would this affect break-even point? And then the profit that the company is getting. So earlier, we really just talked about two topics, break-even points, and then what if we have target profit? But now what if we want to change the selling price? Remember earlier we talked about every event, $200, and variable cost is 80 per event. Fixed cost is 12,000. That was the setting for the textbook problem. And what if we want to change this? Or change variable cost? Or change fixed cost? How would we have to calculate what it would be the break new break-even point in units, or the new break-even in sales? Okay, so this is the, these few questions we call a sensitivity analysis. We're just using the same information, but we're rearranging the equation a little bit, plugging in new numbers. If the company later on decides to expand the business, to purchase in perhaps more fixed assets, they may have more fixed cost incurred. Or to hire more people, they may also have other variable costs incurred, part-time workers, for example. How would this affect break-even units? How would how would they be able to raise the price or decrease the price to meet their new targets, new profit targets? Okay, so same example here. Let's say we have variable costs remains the same, 80. Fixed cost remains the same. But for each and every unit, we only sell it by $180 now. Okay, let's say the economy, economy is not doing good and the profit we're not meeting enough sales revenue as we plan to, and we decided to give customers some discounts, just selling the event $180. So then do we have an increased break-even sales and units or decrease? Meaning that if we lower down break-even, lower down sales revenue for each and every DJ services event we provide customers, how are we able to meet the zero income we have to sell more in events, right? If earlier we provide to 10 customers, that will give us $2,000. Now we lower it down every event, we're only getting 180. We provide to 10 customers, we're not getting $2,000, we're only getting 1800 So we need to sell more events. So you can see that the right-hand side raised to 120 events instead of 100 that we had earlier for this problem. Right? So meaning the new break-even sales will be, the break-even in units, break-even sales will be changed based on the new sales price. Because in order to make that equation, sales minus the total cost equals zero. If you change the sales portion, you lower it down per unit, you need to make more sales. You need to have more customers in order to break even. Okay, it's just that each and every customer, you're generating less contribution margin. Earlier, we had 120. What's the new contribution margin here? only $100, right? Earlier we had 200 minus 80, now we only have 180 minus 80. So every customer, we're just generating contribution margin $100 for each and every event. So since we have a lower contribution margin, we need to increase the X part, the units that we're selling in order to break even. So this is the first example, changing sales price. Other examples, let's say we want to change variable costs. We hired more people, we had more cost incurred, and these are costs that floats along with sales volumes. So if the variable costs switch from 80 to 120, what would happen for break-even events? It also goes up, right? Sales price goes down, break-even events will go up, we need more customers. If variable cost goes up, again, this lowers and shortens our contribution margin. Earlier we had 200 minus 80, now it's 200 minus 120. So for every customer, we're only generating $80 contribution margin, and we need more of that to cover the fixed cost, $12,000. Okay, so this is an, another example that will increase break-even units in order for us to actually cover the costs. So we're training sales or we may be changing variable costs. What about fixed costs? Same thing, right? If cost goes up, fixed cost $15,000, then we also need to have more customers to purchase. The X has to be increased in order to break even. 
Yes, so remember last week we covered a little bit the relevant range of cost. Fixed cost, if we use an equipment for let's say 10,000 hours lower than that, fixed cost perhaps is just $100. But if we expand the business, now we have a lot more customers, then the fixed cost may jump to 200. But it's still the same within that range. Okay, so this is assuming that we expanded the business, bump into the second range. That will still stay the same within that relevant range. Okay. Now, just a comparison of these different um, costs that we mentioned, if it changes, how it affects the two columns. So the first line, sales price per unit, if we increase sales price, so as opposed to the example that we just talked about earlier, if we decrease it, if we increase sales price, the effect to our contribution margin, assuming that everything else is the same, we just increase sales price, then we have a higher contribution margin, right? because contribution margin is the difference between price and variable cost. So if we increase sales price, everything else the same, we have a higher contribution margin, and this will result in a lower break-even units. If we increase sales price, everything else the same, we just need perhaps 90 events in order to cover all the costs. So as opposed to that, if we decrease sales price from 200 to 180, contribution margin will also be decreased, Everything else the same, and then we need more units to break even. Okay, so this is sales price. Variable cost per unit. Variable cost, if it increases from $80 to $120, this lowers down the contribution margin, and again, the break even units has to be increased. As opposed to that, variable cost, if we decrease variable cost from $80 to $40, everything else stays the same, then the contribution margin widens, and we we'll just need a few units to break even. So you have to understand the relationship in this equation, how it affects contribution margin, how it affects break even point. Now the last category should be simpler, fixed cost, because fixed cost doesn't relate to contribution margin. Contribution margin is just the relationship between price and variable cost, so it doesn't change contribution margin, regardless of fixed cost goes up, bump into the second range or third range but it still affects at the end the units you need to sell in order to break even because it's still in the equation. Remember, we minus variable cost, then we minus fixed cost. So if this portion goes up, we will still need an increase units to break even. Fixed cost goes down, and of course we will need lower customers number to break even or lower sales in units. <coughs> 